Welcome back to the Nichols Nook. So today is an exciting day because baby girl's crib came in. This crib came in yesterday, I believe, and Chaz has the day off of work. He ran to go work out and to take care of a couple of things. And then as soon as he gets back, we're gonna go ahead and put baby girl's crib together. So I am so excited to finally get her crib up in her nursery. Then it will really start to feel real, like she's almost here. So I am actually 33 weeks now and as you can tell I'm still out of breath because that has been very typical over these past couple of weeks and that is not going away anytime soon I don't think so anyway I'm excited to put her crib together and we also have the breastfeeding or pumping cart that I'm gonna put together today as well Chaz I'm sure will help me but yeah I can't wait to show you guys kind of what we're doing today so here's what her nursery is looking like right now and I know the lighting isn't the best in this room, but we're definitely making some progress. So today I'm gonna go ahead and put this white three-tiered cart together. Over here I've started organizing some stuff, not her stuffed animals, but those will have a place here soon. And then all of her room decor is kind of just in this corner for now, so that once we have all of the big furniture set up, we can go ahead and put up all of those little small things the wall hangings, the table, blankets, pillows, the flowers that will be over her crib, all of that kind of stuff. Alright, so while Chaz is putting together the crib, I'm going to be working on this three-tiered cart. Yeah. She's a big girl. Yeah. She loves to sleep with her. What's cool about it. this crib is it's a four in one, so we'll be able to use this as a crib and then a toddler bed. We'll just use a mattress but take off the front. And then when she's upgraded to a full size bed, then this will be the headboard and she'll have a or no, it's a it's a, it's a twin. A full size. Oh is it a full? Yeah, it's full. Oh wow. Yeah, this is a full size bed. Um, but yeah, so she'll be depending on, I mean, and if we have another baby though before that, we can always just use this crib for that yeah. baby too. So it really just depends.
great. And there it is. Yeah. Thanks, babe. It's pretty sturdy. It's smaller than I thought. What do you mean it's pretty sturdy? It's sturdy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just making Don't sure. Don't freak mama out. I know. Yeah. No, it's great. It seems really sturdy. Yeah. And it's I think cute. My, I think my brother and sister had one a front that like dropped down. Is that yes. no longer the safety thing? Right. Yeah, they... They stopped making those. Results. Yep. I don't know what exactly the issue was with those, but they don't make those anymore. Yeah. So. Okay. Yep. They're all like this, and then you just adjust the mattress Right. Height. So we can drop it down when she's mm -hmm. standing up. Yeah. Because the mattress will be like here. I think they're about five inches thick, so it'll be higher than that. And then, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to come over here and just stare at her like this. this I know. Is what I'll be doing. <laughs> that feels good to get that done. I bet. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. I am touching up the dresser. I've already repainted the drawers, but there are some places on the dresser that got chipped uh, during the move and stuff, so this corner is messed up. I've already put one coat on it. And then I, re I repainted this edge here. Yeah, so you can kind of see where that paint has chipped off just a little bit, so... We're just trying to make everything look nice and smooth. I should actually probably sand it down maybe. So I didn't want to lift anything heavy. I didn't want to move this dresser back out to the garage. So I just told Chaz to please put a mattress or what is this called? A moving, moving blanket. blanket down on the floor just so it doesn't get the paint on the carpet. to look at a high chair this morning. I saw that someone was selling a Kiko high chair and Kiko is a really good brand from what I've read. All of the reviews seem really good yeah, with this I think high it's chair. Called so Chico. 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 It looks like Chico, but even the brand people say Kiko yeah. on their videos. So I think it's Kiko. I don't know. Let us know what you think down below. So we're gonna go check that out and get that. The high chair retails for around like $130 to $160, and they're selling it for $40, and it's in really good condition. That's so a heck of a deal. Yeah. It is a really, really good deal. Yeah, there, there's there's some them. things that we are willing to buy used, and some things that we're not. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just because I feel like a high chair is it's gonna get gross no matter what. Um, and the one that we're looking at is like really easy to clean. So even if it's it's used, we can still throw it in the dishwasher and wipe everything down. In the dishwasher? Oh yeah, the, the tray. tray. The tray yeah. comes off. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, and it looks like they kept it in very good condition. I mean, it looks really clean. And yeah. So anyway, that's what we're gonna go do now, and we'll show you guys what it looks like when we get home. What is that, Chiefy? Here you go. Watch out. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is that for your sister? Yeah, I think this will be great. So this is the high chair. This is the Kiko Poly Magic high chair. So the lady actually didn't end up having the newborn insert, so we're going to have to figure out what we need to do for that. She said she never ended up using it, um, just because it's not as easy to clean, I guess. It's not the same material, but I like that this is just gray and neutral, and it'll fit right in with just kind of our neutral decor yeah. in our house, and it'll be good for both boys and girls, so if we ever have a little boy, we can just use that too. I think this is also like... Table height, too. I think you can lower it, I believe. Yeah, I think it has six height adjustment things that it can do. Yeah, so like, it's big enough. 
We could just roll her up to the yeah. table. Yeah. And what I love about this, this is something that I was looking for in a high chair, which I think there's a little button on the back, babe, if you want to try it. So I really wanted the yes. newborn recline. Yep, so it'll recline. So when she's a newborn, once we find some kind of insert to go in here, she can recline so that when I'm cooking or doing dishes in the kitchen, I can just kind of wheel her in. Oh, yeah. And that way she can be kind of up high with me. Yeah. Cool beans. Yeah, let's put the tray on and see what it looks like. Does it feel secure? Go. Yeah. It does. All right. What's cool is this thing just snaps right off so that you can throw that in the dishwasher or mm -hmm. wipe it off with just some wet towels. And a place for a cup. And look, she's already figured it out. He's like, she's going to be throwing food <laughs> off of here. So I'm just going to hang out at the bottom. Are you sniffing around? He's like, what is that thing? <laughs> All right. There it is. It's really starting to feel real now. Yeah, it is. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> She's just ready to come. Well, she needs to cook a little bit longer. <laughs> Speaking of cooking, I'm hungry. You gonna have some leftovers? Yeah. Hey, Chiefy. Chiefy wants to play. And by the way, we only have seven weeks until baby girl gets here. And that's if she waits to come until 40 weeks. So. She could arrive early, but as of right now, we're counting down and she has seven weeks to go. All right, so the dresser's done and I put a fresh coat on this shelf as well. So let's just move it back and get it into position. Okay. Well, not into position yet, right? Right, because our glider gets here on Tuesday, tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and wait until the glider gets here and then that way we'll know exactly where the dresser should go. Right, because the glider could be bigger than what we were thinking. Right. And I don't want to hang anything on the wall over the dresser quite yet until the dresser's in position. So once that gets done, then we'll hang things on the wall. That looks so good. I love it. It looks so pretty. It's pretty girly, huh? It is really girly. I love it though. It turned out really good. It did. Thank you. I wish you guys saw the original one, but it was like an old drab brown and it had old handles too. I have a picture I can insert. Yeah. yeah. So this looks awesome. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. As you can see, we are getting a little farther along in her nursery. So I'm excited. Slowly but to... surely. Yeah, yeah. Slowly but surely. The chair will help a lot. It will. Yeah, we yeah. can't wait to show you guys when the nursery is all done. So yep, the chair and then the mattress pad. Mm -hmm. And then we're getting something specially made for the wall here. So. Yep. Yep. Yes, and it's actually, it's already shipped. Oh, is it? Yeah. Her name. Great. Yeah. Her name, yeah. So but we can't tell you guys. We can't tell you. Not yet. It's getting Here's close, some, though. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll let you guys know soon. All right. So if you want to stay tuned for what our baby girl's name is make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications for when we put new videos up uh so yeah stay right. tuned stay tuned we'll see you guys in our next video bye, bye.